I'm going to show you how you can create a mail merge using Microsoft Windows and Microsoft Word. I've already opened a Word document and the first thing we're going to do is move along here the ribbons and get to the mailings ribbon click on that and we need the third icon along start mail merge select that we get a number of options down here now although we're producing a letter it may be tempting to say uh, choose the letter option unfortunately there's a number of complications that occur when you use that and often it's better to use a normal word document option and that's what we're going to choose so let's click that we now have to locate the data for the mail merge so we move along to select recipients click we get a number of choices here we could type a new list in fact we've already got a list on our access database so let's click on that now we're going to look for an access database but in fact we could use um, an Excel spreadsheet uh, just as well uh, it's a bit of a route march so here we go The database opens and we have a number of queries and tables that are available to us in this particular database. Actually the one we want is this one here, Query to Order, so let's accept that one. OK. Having selected the query, that gives us the data that we require for this mail merge. If we move along to Insert Merge Fields, we see all the data that's available to us. Each one of these here corresponds to a field in a record. And we think I think we've got about four records that we could use for this particular mail merge. But we'll close this down now. We won't, don't need it quite yet because the first thing we're going to do is just create the rest of the letter. So we've typed up the letter. The only thing is we haven't put any of the fields in. So let's do that now. We move up to Insert Merge Fields, click that. Um, we've got all our fields in here. Now, what you can do is you can insert each one of these individually in its correct place, but that's an amazingly tedious process. It's far quicker if you just double-click on these and put them all in at the same time and then move them around into position. Um, don't need those we need that one so we'll close that and now that we've got those fields in there we now move them into their correct places so let's put all of that lot to there put these into position okay and um, then we need the reorder amount which is going to be the quantity then we could do with the item name being there and then the cost over here. Um, let's put some tabs in here to uh, sort this out. Okay, item name, put a tab in there. and cast to tab in there okay now that's what it's going to be looking like at the moment a little space there now if you want to actually see what it's going to look like when it's um, processed you can come up to here and go to preview results and that will put one of the records in well that actually doesn't look too bad shame that that's so far over there so we could move that tab ok perhaps farther over us again that's better right um, if we want to have a look at the other records we can do by coming up to here and go to the next record that looks alright that's going to be fine 
We've only got four records, so that's all that we can try. What's important to know is that this, in fact, does not perform the mail merge. This is only for previewing and looking to see what it would be like. To actually do the mail merge, we need to go to the end uh, block and go to finish and merge. Got a number of options here. Um, the ones that interest us are these first two here. Print documents, if I clicked on that, it would actually perform the mail merge and send it to my printer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do edit individual documents. That performs the mail merge but produces a new Word file. Each one of the pages will be a one of the letters. So each individual page I can print out. Each individual individual page I can edit if I want to, just make slight changes, or um, and I, I could save them as well as a group. I'm going to select that. It's going to ask me which of the records. I'm going to ha ha ask for all of them, only four records. And there we are. Now if I scroll down here, you see I've got one record. I've got another one, and I have another one. Right, I can now save this if I want to. Um, so we could save it to wherever we wished. I'm not going to do that. But we have got our original template letter here, so I'm going to save that. And that's how we can perform the mail merge.